Hello there, and welcome to yet another episode of my Car Mechanic 2021 series, where we are working on car number four in the uh, Porsche DLC, and as a matter of fact, it's the Porsche Carrera GT, and it's not in the best of shape, but we'll make it we'll make it pretty again. How much is for sure? So she does appear to be at least sitting on her own. The wheels look like they're in <coughs> salvageable shape, so go ahead and get this up on the lift. Just gonna start stripping out the body parts. We're already missing windshield, that's okay. Okay. Suspension we'll deal with in a little bit. It's all body. Could be that's three percent. Ah, rear window. Lever. Now down to one percent. Okay, so before we do anything else, let's um, fix the frame. Just that easy. All right, let's see what we can fix from the body panels. Okay. That back on there. That back on there. We're gonna do that because we're gonna put on custom plates anyway. Uh, so, or by condition, the right door and right mirror. Still burping up supper. Okay, so yeah, the rest of this is all gonna have to go bye bye. Do not have the other tail light? Apparently not. Anyway, we're just gonna go ahead and just nuke all of that, and then we're just gonna mark everything that we need on there, minus the the license plates, of course. I know we're going to be missing a few things, but let's go ahead and order what we've got on there so far. Body work, Carrera GT, and left tail light. Right tail light. Brand new hood. Rear window. Front right window, brand new windshield. Okay, good there. Trunk, left fender, left headlight, 
The other headlight. Front left door. And your search. The left side mirror while we're in here. And let's start placing things. <clears throat> Fix that. Okay, front left door window. That off the list. We'll get the uh, license plates here in a minute. I usually get those separate. Who's missing? Nothing? Good. All right, let's go get the plates while we're thinking about it. Two, custom plate. Okay. Good and good. Well, I should have looked before I did that, but that's okay. We don't need the other license plate, apparently. No harm done. <clears throat> it's already looking better. We just need to get a good coat of paint on it. Before we do that, I want to replace the tires. To do that, I need to be... In the correct game mode, that always helps. I'd leave them as is because they're in decent shape, but we're trying to do 100% quality on all the cars that we do on this series, so I need to take them off there anyway. Makes for a bit more work, but. It's worth it so far. All right, let's get them apart. I say how much better it looks with all the body panels uh, fixed up. Let's get the rims fixed up. Right. So we need the two sixty fives are going to be the fronts from the looks of it. We need two of the three thirty fives. Okay. Let's go to the tire shop. And so we're able to save the rims. This tire, we need 265.35. Two of those. Verify. 260.35 R19. 265.35. 35R19. So, get rid of that one. That one. I know it's just a long way to do it, but trust me, it's it helps me keep a mental track of everything. So, 33530. Really? Uses like an inch bigger tire. Okay. 33530. Okay. Well, I guess we're not going to be 
having too much trouble differentiating these because yeah it's 219 inch 220 inch and let's verify tire sizes uh 335 30 20 335 30 20 okay good to go okay put it all back together Okay. Balanced, and we'll get moving. Shit, that one was easy. <laughs> All right, she's back on for for now. We want a three thirty-five. Yeah, okay, three thirty-fives in the back, and we'll put here. That's the other three thirty-five twenty. You mix the tire sizes up front and back. It'll set up on blocks. It'll. It's an easy way for. <laughs> If you're new to doing this, uh, easy way to tell if you fucked up. If you drop the car from the down off the lift and it does not set on its own, then generally you've got a mismatch of some sort. Ask me how I figured that one out. <clears throat> okay. Like if I were to drop this car off uh, down fully down on the lift, it the blocks would appear underneath it and to prop the car up. It doesn't want it sitting on the axles because that would, that's bad both in in the game and in real life. Okay, so let's take care of the interior before we go to paint. Just I just want to get it all taken care of here. Back up, back up. Okay. Gonna get rid of those. That in assembly mode so we can just mark everything. Ooh, that's gonna be a big beefy engine to take care of. Okay, so here to here and then oh yeah. Tires. Don't need that anymore. Both the fancy leather seats. I keep wanting to hit escape, get out of that, that mode, but <laughs> it doesn't work. <sighs> well, it's not the way you want it to. Okay, so let's check the numbers. We could probably ship this thing out the door like right now and it would actually run but we're not we're not even close to done with this we're going to rebuild the engine put all new performance parts in it get to put a nice fancy exhaust put on it redo the front and back suspension all that stuff all the little bits and bobs on this car uh, yeah that's the kind of been our more or less been our mo since the start Okay, so we're to the point now where I'm happy enough to send it to paint. So we've done kind of a matte grayish color. We've done red and we've done kind of a sky blue. So let's see where we can go 
with this? Where is our imagination going to take us today? Actually, that doesn't look bad. I may say so myself. Kind of a sucker for metallic, though. It's been a while since we've done a metallic paint job. I might just go with that. I want to see what libraries we... Oh, there are none. Okay. Fair enough. Guess the car's fancy enough without it. Okay. Yeah, we're done. we haven't done a green car in a while, so we're, I think we're alright. A nice minty, almost a Kelly green. Uh, alright, so back to bay one with you. Looking pretty sharp. Okay, so now we're into the fun part here. We're going to drain all the fluids front and back. Oh man, this thing has no less than three flipping radiators. That's nice. <clears throat> and the coolant reservoir is all the way back here. This is going to just make uh, swapping out the, the parts easier if we get rid of all the fluids first. Less messy too. Because you can get dinged for not draining the oil before you remove certain... Or, let's just say there's a cleanup penalty for certain fluids of the car. And uh, yeah. It's not a huge penalty if you're not going to get fined by the EPA or anything, but it's still you know, just as soon take the extra minute or so it takes to go through all the fluids and just say, save yourself the trouble. That oil's not fresh, but at least I had plenty of it. All right. So. Okay, we're gonna have to probably pry off the exhaust. We can't touch. I mean, it's gonna allow us to. You're gonna come off. I'll go ahead and pull that since it's just one big monolithic piece. Mid exhaust and front exhaust, all that stuff. We'll need to pull the tires off too. Because we gotta pull the drive shafts. It's a rear engine car. Probably need to take the gearbox off too. That's a girthy uh, gearbox. Wait, did they actually go with a solid monolithic engine block? And they have a detachable oil pan. Ooh. the rest of the world. Oh, kidding. Kidding. Before we pop that engine out, I want to fix some of this stuff up.
it seriously not let us do the exhaust? Okay then. Let's go ahead and get that ordered so that way we can just pop that on there when we get the engine uh, rebuilt. Okay, we need two of those. Two of these. Just one of this big honkin' beastie. Alright. <coughs> so we have all that all that set to go for when we go to do the reassembly. Very nice. Pop that hood. And it should come right out. Yay! Didn't give us any trouble. Alright, let's get that engine on the stand. Fancy. So, we're going to give this thing the standard treatment. Basically, tear it completely down to the engine block and the crankshaft. And then rebuild it with as many performance parts as we can find. Piece by piece. I see how, how much power we get out of it, which given that this is apparently a V10. Uh, we should get a fair bit of power out of her. I'd be surprised if we didn't. here <clears throat> come on out there you go I'm trying to think if we ever did a v10 no, not in this DLC, at least. Most of those were... Like, V6s, I think. But some of them had double spark plugs on them, which I thought was a, a nice touch. bolt right there. I think we're not hitting too many so far, but then again this car, aside from the body, really wasn't in that bad a shape to begin with. We fail. Alright. You got you. You off there. Okay, we'll get the rest of these accessories and pulleys and all the other sh rollers and stuff pulled off here. Also, almost forgot something else. That is an interesting <coughs> uh, clutch setup they have back up here. Two-parter. Okay. Let's get you off of here. Get all these cam caps off.
We gotta get the crap off up front. Nope, that one. Oh, that's just so wrong. We gotta get your shoes off then, we can start taking this other crap apart. Okay. Good to go here. Chain one, chain two. That little... Or not. coming out nicely. <clears throat> Apparently that little gear is part of the entire assembly for the engine head. That simplifies things. this thing on its side. Oop. This will pan off and then get the uh, pistons free and the crankshaft. We should be good to go on the disassembly stage. fix up the crankshaft, fix up the engine block, put them back on the stand, nuke the rest of the parts, and then we're going to buy all brand new stuff. everything that's not a hundred percent bam it's interesting though if they're doing the air filter bases before the rest of the engine's been constructed but sure okay pump alternator our steering I'll filter right here <clears throat> and just a smidge need like four crankshaft bearing caps I 
10 pistons with conrod, which means we're going to need 10 rod caps and 10 sets of ring. A set of 10 rings, I should say. All right. Let's go here since we're already in the performance area. Like that. Get the uh, alternator. Water pumps a standard part. Power steering's a performance item. I think the filter base, yeah, it's, yeah, that isn't either, so I know this is, so we'll get those. Boom. Go back over here. Rod. Yep. Need that. And then... of those two filter bases click also pump <clears throat> oil pump and four bearing shaft bearing caps Interesting part order, but hey, I don't make the game. I wish I could make games like this, or at least help out with making games like this. I'm more of a QA person than a developer, but I could still do at least some coding. I don't have that yet, so I don't want to click that. Let's go here. Do the... Crankshaft bearing caps first. Let's get the rod caps installed. Almost there. everything looks like it cool <clears throat> into the next round got an oil pan water pump pulley we're not ready for the clutch stuff yet so let's do the engine heads oh. as we'll get the filters did we get the pulley yes we did Engine head B, engine head A. The rest of this is most likely over here. Roll pan on, then we can write the engine. Like that. <laughs> All right. 
that. So that should be everything except the filters, apparently. That one, and then we got that one there. One big honking intake manifold. I want to make sure we aren't missing anything else. Didn't look like it. The exhaust manifolds on both sides. I think we could finally put the clutch on there. Um, I think those are the same, but I'm not entirely sure. We've been bitten by that before. Speaking of which. We'll take a risk on it. Ain't that big a deal if we order the wrong part. Here, go to tune-up shop. An intake manifold is big, and it's a nice 2% increase. <clears throat> two exhaust manifolds. Performance clutch. Or aftermarket <clears throat> uh, camshafts. Time to change the standard issue item, but the spark plugs aren't. And for that, we are going to go here and hope to gosh that this takes the same chain on both sides. We'll find out here in a few, well, less than a few minutes. Worst case, we'll end up selling one and end up buying the correct item. plugs in and then we'll put the camshafts in after it. And back here and do the same thing. Okie dokie. Looking pretty good. Here. Oh good. <laughs> For once my gamble paid off. Alright, what do we got? Anything? I could sit on that one for that level. So got our throttles. Two cam gears. Just want to make sure they're symmetrical, and they are. Boom, 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 boom. Got all the timing chain shoes. We are needing, let's see, two, four, six, eight. So 16 of these. And then fuel rail, and another fuel rail. And what else, senor? Okay, clutch cover. Good, good, good. All right. Back over to the performance shop. Two fancy schmancy throttles. Uh, cam gears could be standard parts. Timing chain shoes are standard parts. Clutch cover apparently is also. And we get the fuel rail. And, okay, so that's all... These are all standard parts. Okay, good. I always like to check, but you know, sometimes you never know. Leave these uh, rich people cars. Of course, my definition of rich people cars might be different than other people's too, so take that with a grain of salt. 
I'm a Chevy person, so that, that gives you any indication. Okay, 16 camshaft caps. Boom. And the clutch cover. Okie dokie. Throttle on. Back over here. Your throttle on. Okay. Touch cover on, and that should be the last thing on the ass end of this. Yep. Okay. Fuel rails put in before I forget about these damn things. Wonder why I still have extra parts at the end of it. Let's work our way from front to back here and get all these camshaft caps put in. Engine's coming together nicely. I haven't had any major surprises so far. I'm glad. <laughs> Compared to how we were doing, you know, with the beginning of the DLC versus now, I'd say we're doing pretty darn well overall. All right, so I got you. Now it's time to do this side. That on there, that on there. The uh, other set of cam caps on. Good to go. Steady progress here. I'm hoping this makes some decent horsepower numbers. I didn't even honestly look at what it was, the factory numbers before we even started. Then again, I hardly ever look at those until we need to. Okay, so that's ready for the cover. What do we got left? Oh, this chi uh, <laughs> almost a chiming shoes. Yeah, that would have made a whole lot of sense. Okay, got that in. And that in. All right, looks like that's everything. So, timing cover, head cover B, head cover A. You're gonna need 10 coil packs, I can already tell you that much. Air filter cover, another air filter cover, which that is a very, how the fuck did they even get that on there? Weird, okay. Moving on. Uh, I don't think any of these are any of these are performance parts. I'm you know the next uh, next in line for the British throne, and I'm not I'm not even pretending to be. I wouldn't want that job in the first place. Nothing against the country, just <laughs> anyway. It was attempted bit of topical humor and it didn't uh, didn't come out very well. And there goes half my viewer base and demonetized. Which, you know, easy for me to say demonetized when I was never technically monetized to begin with. I'm pretty spiff now. I have too much further to go with it. Alright, so is any of this potentially... Okay, ignition coils are, so... <clears throat> I skipped a word there. Any of these performance parts? Yes, they are. Okay, got you. Okay, crank it fully. Idle roller. Woohoo! Okay. Okay. Before we go fussing with the belts. Let's get these ignition coils put in. Do 
Right. Nope. Wrong switch, crunk. Okay. <laughs> I had to hit the different button there. That's what happens when you get in a hurry. Okay. Got another roller. And a belt. Okay. Got your roller right here. Along with serpentine belt. everything seen any other like grayed out parts all the major components appear to be in both the belts are on all packs are in clutches all taken care of the intake is all nice and shiny again yeah I think we might be done boys and girls one shiny spruced up Porsche engine. Let's get you off the stand. Get you back in the car. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Go away. Thank you. And we're going to leave the tires off for now because we want. Uh, we do redo the suspension back in assembly mode. Oh, 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 oh shit. Forgot how big the. Gotta get that from underneath. Alright. Picky little thing. Okay. Okay, assembly mode. That whole monstrosity is held on by four measly little bolts. getting their money's worth out of it. Okay, it leaves us just the axles and the tires. Okay. Engine's all hooked back up, more or less. And now, we're going to take care of the trunk. We're going to take care of the uh, engine compartment when we get to it. So, from here, just need to get rid of that. Why doesn't that radiator have a fan on it? And again, I suppose it probably doesn't need it. Game, please. I'm not going to fix the fuel pump because it's not even worth doing. We're going to replace it anyway. Got to get a new one of those, new one of those, and new one of those. Everything else is good to go back in the car. So the gas tank is not a performance part. <laughs> pump is. So we get the reservoir while we're here and then go over here to get the fuel pump. Okay. 
rest of this we can get from the top. This thing must need a ridiculous amount of coolant if it's got uh, three freaking radiators, man. Saying. Go ahead and fill you up while we're here. That way we don't have to come back and do it. That should be it for the trunk area. Looks like it. Right. Here. Coolant reservoir. Get that out. ABS. Get the battery. And we're going to completely strip this. Okay. I'm going ahead and marking those because that these are not repairable. The fuse box is, but not the uses themselves that's not something you typically fix those are things that you keep a extra bunch of those in your uh, glove box and you just if you pop one put one in you're desperate you, there's other things you can use but I wouldn't recommend them and not those things get your minds out of the gutter I have been privy to, meaning I've seen, uh, situations where people have used bits of wire and other things that are metallic, that not fire or not uh, not, not like firearm rounds or anything, but yeah, no one was that desperate, thank goodness. Okay, so that's anybody else in that compartment. All right. Just kind of doing a vis quick visual inspection of everything, make sure I'm not missing something. So that left us with the fuses, which we already marked. Uh, we'll need to mark the ECU. The battery we can do something about. Wait till this thing goes ding, which it won't. It's done. Just like that. Okay, so we got the ECU. Uh, coolant reservoir, our steering, I think that's everything. If it's not, we'll find it. It'll come out in the wash regardless. Rock on. All right, let's go buy some stuff. Everything's going to be standard issue stuff here. Um... Well, most of it's actually electrical, but you know what I meant. Okay, those are all fuses and relays and ECU stuff, so we need to go here. Um, grab the ECU first, I guess. And we'll just go through the fuses. So four 
relay type Bs. Boom. Fuse type C. Three fuse type Bs. Two type A fuses. Boom. Four type C relays. <clears throat> Relay type A. <clears throat> Excuse me. That was dry. Right. On in, do the assembly. You, you, and you. That was a vague reference to something. Used to be a streamer that used to do a lot of Skyrim stuff. Modded Skyrim stuff. And he'd had this uh, little uh, like follower, anim uh, follower video clip thing that showed every time somebody joined the community and it was like some kids video from the 90s all about friendship and you know being kind to people you know the typical like sun uh, sunday or saturday morning you know kids friendly tv show stuff you know from that time period Anyway, so let's go wait. How do we end up with an extra relay? Whoops. <laughs> oh, I, I get back. Get, get, get back in there. Come on. Master. Got the battery. Start filling fluids. That out of the way. to get the <clears throat> brake servo filled up and we're just casually pouring it through the intake no 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 problems there all right i think that's everything back here in terms of the engine and the fluids and all the little accessories and bits and bobs if they miss them, it's the drive shafts, which we'll do after the suspension's finished. On that note, it's all pretty much all we have left on this. We're pretty close here. 86% park condition, so yeah. Oh, that's the last of my ca uh, caffeinated stuff. All right. Let's get her up there so we can do the last little part. Because we did the engine, we did all the stuff in the engine compartment. The trunk's done, interior's done, body's done. Engine itself is good to go. Uh, exhaust, fuel system, all that stuff's done. So yeah, just uh, front and rear suspension. Get her apart here and see um, how good a condition everything's in. So from here, it doesn't look that bad. We'll see. I say that right as I come across a rusty bolt.
And we had just one rusty bolt on each side. <laughs> okay. Guess we got lucky. Alright, that's everything off there. So let's go fix some stuff and see what we end up with. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, brake discs we can do something about. Take them over here and give them a touch up. Well, they're not in bad shape to begin with. But we're after a mint condition 100% car, so. Breathe in all that healthy brake dust. Okay. That should take care of a couple of them. Oh, yeah, we still gotta take the assemblies apart. Almost forgot. <coughs> I don't think any of that's. Yeah, they aren't. They're, 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 they never are. Repairable. Okay, so could be worse. Mostly consumables. Alright. Brake pad. And the rest of this. Okay, sell all the Parts we don't want. Go. Yeah, we're gonna go buy new stuff. And then go through this real quick. Get our rubber bushings and everything else. Rock caps. You. Rear springs. <coughs> Wishbone shock absorbers. Two bearings. Right. Nice and easy. These put back together and then we'll get going. bit of an irony that I have <laughs> all this going on with the uh, 
car mechanic sim, I get to take my car in for a, a have it uh, taken care of uh, tomorrow morning. Yeah. Apparently, uh, Chevrolet did not install. There was a safety feature, like an optional safety feature, I guess. Apparently, that uh, never got installed on my car. That should have, but they didn't because of the parts shortage. <clears throat> and so they sent me a letter. I was like, great, not another recall. And, well, it wasn't technically, it was kind of a recall, but it wasn't. It was written up like one, but it was for, I guess like a lane, or a lane spot detection system thing. Some kind of safety feature that, like I said, should have been in the car, but wasn't. Because they, it was either not ship the car or ship it minus that feature and, you know, hope nobody noticed, which I sure as fuck didn't, and they didn't. And I don't remember them mentioning that at the uh, dealership either, that, hey, this thing comes with this and you paid for it, but we're not going to be able to put it in right away. At least if they did notify me, it's probably under like an inch thick stack of papers that they handed me when I, well, metaphorically speaking, the inch thick stack of papers um, that I signed when I bought the car last year. Okay, so that is one freshly rebuilt rear suspension. Let's get these tires off and we'll do the same for this one. Getting a few rusty bolts, but not very many. All right, before I forget, let's get these uh, bearing, or excuse me, bushings out of the cross members. A cross member, I should say. this apart suspension arm. Now we can grab that. Bearing rack out of the way. Play bar and the cross member. <coughs> Good to go. Right, because we need to take it apart and put it together. See how many of these we can fix. Kind of going into focus mode here, so if I don't talk very much, that's probably why. <clears throat> All 
right. Uh, I still left us with a fair number of things to buy, but that's okay. Could have been a lot worse. Although the brake discs we could go take care of them. In fact, I think we will. I could just take them off the list. Good to go. We already made our list. Checking it twice. Being good. Alright, let's get rid of all these old parts. Alright. Let's make our last big purchase for the night. Rubber bushings, both inner tie rods, both front shock caps, fresh set of brake pads for both sides, okay, outer tie rods, brand new bearings, wheel hub caps. Both front springs, good to go. Two end links and a front sway bar to round things out. <clears throat> right, before we do anything else, I'm gonna remember to do this much at least. things first we get the middle parts taken care of including the rubber bushings something staged ahead of time makes the assembly a little bit easier. I have to click the end link and accidentally click the radiator. That's okay. No harm done. Got everything on this side except the tire, so let's go ahead and put that back on.
get you put together. Put on. Peek around the corner, make sure we didn't forget nothing. Inventory is empty. So let's check. And we got 100% on everything, boys and girls. Here's another job well done. All right, let's get this over to the alignment wreck and then we'll take it over to the dino room. Yep, up, up. Okay, guess I'm not going that. Oh, there it goes. I was trying to cut across there, but that'd be badass if you could actually roll the car up all the way up here and do the actual alignment with the car up and with the mirrors and everything. You know, like those things. Those things are supposed to attach to the wheels, and you're basically fussing with the. Uh... Yeah, there's there's a whole process to it if you haven't seen it. The reason those guys get paid, you know, a pretty healthy amount of money to do that kind of work. That little, like, they got all kinds of fancy equipment that they use for that. Okay, lights are all aligned. We actually had one wheel that was already in good shape there. Cool. All right. You to the dino room, and we're going to see. We're going to do a full pull. We're going to see what kind of improvements we've made. Yes, I want to proceed. So, looks like 612 horsepower, which is already pretty damn good. Way better than my damn truck, that's for sure. Uh, 435 pound-feet of torque. I mean, this is like a 35, 3800 pound car, so yeah, it needs that kind of. 35? Hang on. 30, or 3,000, sorry. I don't know where I got the 38 from. My bad. Anyway, 612 horsepower, 435 pound-feet of torque. Let's give her a pull and see what she thinks. She's going to be able to do it. Hmm. Certainly a different sound of the engine. Thousand thirty-three horsepower for a gain of four hundred and twenty-one, so a sixty-nine percent increase. Seven hundred and four pound-feet of torque for a gain of two seventy is a healthy sixty-two percent increase. Very nice. Very nice. It's good. Real good. Okay. Get you outside for some beauty shots here. Of the ground out of focus apparently try that again okay that one's going to be the thumbnail for the video by the time you guys see this you'll already have seen the picture take a picture of the back end just because i like to show the stuff off on the discords i hang out in all right one last thing we gotta do oh no, got to, but we're going to. Wait, the handbrake's over? You know what? Never mind. Sorry, I'm just admiring the interior. Okay, at least it's got a physical shifter. Dig that. 
seems like more and more cars now have those little turn dials or push button for the the shifter and it's like why <laughs> it just looks goofy never mind the fact that it makes the life interesting for the tow truck driver when the damn thing inevitably breaks down anyway let's see where she goes Ooh, okay yeah we're gonna have to definitely thread the thread the accelerator here I hadn't done that, we'd have probably spun out by now. Okay, we're up to 180, 190, 200, 210. And we hit that way before the end of the, the track too. Did you hear that? how that sucker was quacking? Lord. Right. <laughs> that happened. Uh, yeah, return to garage, please. <laughs> that was like, hey, we're hitting 210. All of a sudden, it's like, no, can't can't go any faster. Like, okay, we're done. <laughs> uh, anyway. Well, this has certainly been a fun build, and not being sarcastic either. I like how it turned out. The color scheme, you know, digging it. Shame it didn't have any liveries, but... Yeah. I don't know if I like that mesh on the engine, but hey. For that kind of money, you could almost put... Well, it's an air intake, so I guess you kind of have to, so on second thought. Uh, never mind. <laughs> As you can see, I've never owned one of these. So, let's look at the numbers. So, we bought it for 97.3, so yeah, I overpaid... For the car in its condition uh you can see where the condition bonus and the parts value body value parts value all that stuff is all how that factors in and so we sold it for a or will sell it for a price of two hundred sixty three thousand and some change with for a solid profit of about 166 grand so i think this is probably the most expensive of the bunch they're all in the low 200s this is the first one I think we went over a quarter mil. And you can see where it went too. I mean, it's a V10. In the right hands, this car would be a killer on a drag strip. And maybe with the right performance parts on the, you know, the brakes and handling and the right tuning, it might even be a good track car. Who knows? I don't know. Anyway, let's go ahead and sell her. Not too shabby. I'd say that build went pretty smooth. I liked it. Alright, so let's move the Salem Flamo, aka the Ford Pinto. That's going to be our filler episode in between the DLCs. I want to see how this one turns out. We're not going to be expecting miracles from it. It's not going to be a drag car unless something weird happens with it. Uh, or interesting happens. But, you know, I wanted something to kind of... Kind of Give us a spacer between the DLCs, and this seemed like a good palate cleanser. Okay, so speaking of DLCs, so we'll do the Land Rover Discovery. That's going to be the first of the Land Rover series, so we're going to put that in Bay 2. So that's going to be, typically it's how we cycle them out. The ones outside are the ones further back in, in the schedule. The ones in here are the ones we work on. So that's the next one. This is the one after that. And <clears throat> this is the Land Rover Range Rover Evoke. It, for some reason, my brain keeps tripping over that name. Sure. Put that in position two because that's going to be the second one of the DLC to do. And we're going to pull... The third one out of parking. So, Land Rover, Range Rover. God damn it, why the. Anyway, Land Rover, Range Rover, Sport SVR. As you can see, we're going through some rather pricey SUVs. And as usual, I forgot to clean it. Oh no! Go do that real quick. 
Thing looks like it's been out in the sun for a little too long. Usually it spawns me on the other side. Anyway. Two-tone. That's actually not bad looking. We'll have to see what kind of paint job we can do with it when we get to this one. Because it'd be interesting. Alright, we'll put this in position three because that's going to be the okay, the first one for the deal season in the, in the garage already. This is going to be number two, number three. Number four, if we had more parking space out here, I'd put it out here, but we don't. So, we'll move it later. But yeah, that's our lineup. We'll be doing some rather pricey um, soccer mom SUVs. I'm being sarcastic there. Calm down. Uh, but yeah, we got our we got a pretty good lineup here, I think. And with that, I'm going to turn y'all loose. I appreciate you for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit the um, subscription button for. So that way you get the notifications for the episodes as they come out. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the, the next video. Take care.